I went out、uh, from the side of the building, and I kept walking on West Side Highway, and、uh, I heard some people screaming. I looked back. That's when I saw a very, at a very close distance, I saw the building collapse. And ran like hell. Thank God, I'm 69, but I can still run. <laughs> There's got to be fire and trap back there, though. Everyone watching the collapse of the North Tower immediately assumes that anyone inside must have perished. Time, a floor hit another floor. It was like a loud boom, like a train that was off its tracks and was hitting the railroad ties, and it was getting closer and closer. Listen up, I'm gonna do a roll call. Billy. Yeah. So violent、Mike. was the the vibration that we were actually being bounced around、Sal. off the floor. Yeah. And、uh, just kept waiting, just kept waiting for.、Uh, That big beam or that big piece of concrete to come, and、uh, for us it didn't come. Matt. Yeah. Sounds like you dropped a couple of floors there, buddy. To have our special guest. <laughs> you mean me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm here, and my name's Josephine. Good job, Josephine. And I'm up here, you know. Have no idea what I look like. I never done. I mean, you're great too, kiddo. <laughs> you can all you want. It won't help. All the furnishings and the fixtures inside the building, none of that existed after the collapse. There were no desks. There were no phones. No computers. No copy machines. No, no chairs. Nothing. That had all been pulverized by the, the tremendous amount of energy that was created by this collapse, and it was just pulverized into this dust. And we're in the geographic center of that dust. This is Jonas, ladder six. We're on the fourth floor, North Tower. We need help. Do you copy? And、uh, somebody got on the radio and said, "Where's the North Tower?" <laughs> Like I looked at my radio, I says, "Where's the North Tower?" I said, "Man, we're in trouble. They don't know where the North Tower is." 
I had stepped out onto West Street, wondering what could have happened to cause these, to cause this mess. Uh, the ash and the fire trucks twisted up like toys. I went back towards the building where there was a, a fireman, and I walked up to the fellow and I said, you know, hey, there's a, a body over here. He looked at me with a look that, that I sensed, hey, why is he looking at me like I have two heads, like I'm crazy? Why is he giving me this look? And he said, just go on. And I realized there were actually bodies and people scattered all over the place. And you couldn't see what the scene was like because everything was covered with ash. Cones of bodies. Cones of bodies. Cones of bodies. 